Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone. It's good to have you back with us on Winner Home on Afternoon Express. We're on SABC3. So you get a chance potentially to win yourself a dream home on an incredible estate in Johannesburg. And so we really need to become experts in estate living. Now, over the course of the series, we'll explore various aspects related to buying and living on those estates. Today, we're joined by Grant Gavin to discuss the different types of property available on estates in South Africa and how to choose the right type of property for you. Grant, welcome to our loft. Thank you, Danilo. Good to be here. You're a wealth of wisdom. We met at the last series of Winner Home uh, when we came to shoot with some of the homes that you were looking at. Um, yeah. So property clearly is something that is booming and everybody should invest. Or am I mistaken? No, property is always your one step to creating wealth. Your first okay. step to creating wealth, let me say. Uh, it's a good long-term investment and, and property is something that we should all aspire to own okay. uh, for, the, for the benefit of wealth creation. Okay, and then estates obviously is a, a way to do that. And everyone's been pushing estates quite a lot at the moment because I think it's a hot topic. I mean, is investing in estates also a great one? 100%. You always want to invest A, in a good location, B, you want to buy at a good price. But I think most importantly, you always want to buy where there's going to be good mm. demand to sell at some point. And with estates and the way South African buyers look for security when they look to buy a property is one of their main priorities. Mm. Everybody wants to get onto an estate. It's a growing trend. And I believe that South Africa has the largest number of estates than most countries in the world. I think there are officially, the, we've got the largest number of estates in the world, which is such a fascinating fact to consider. And I think it's because of security, I'd imagine. Yeah, and, and security is coming at a premium. So if you look at the prices that you're paying for properties on estates versus off the estates, you're getting way more for your money off the estate in terms of size of accommodation and land size, yeah. but you're definitely paying a premium getting onto these estates because people want security. Mm. And uh, that's driving prices up. Okay, uh, explain to me about estates because one thing that I've noticed by traveling to all the different estates around the country is they all are slightly different. Some of them are very lifestyle, community driven, some of them are huge, some of them are golf estates, some of them are residential. What kind of different estates do you get? Are they like, are they categories or? Well, I think it all comes down to lifestyle and, and it depends on what you as the buyer are looking to buy into in terms of lifestyle. So for example, if you're a golfer or you're a keen equestrian mm. fan, you're gonna buy into a golf or equestrian estate. If you love nature, you're gonna go into a wildlife or an eco estate. And a lot of these eco estates are being built now with particular designs for you know, ensuring that architecture is matching mm. trends in the environment um, for, for long term. So there's all sorts of environments that you can fit into in terms okay. of the type of lifestyle that you're looking for. So you must go window shopping. I think that's an important thing to go visit the websites, go see the properties, go visit, go get a sense of who you are as an individual and how you'd like your living spaces to represent that. Yeah, I think most people know that. Um, mm. I think most people know exactly what they're looking for when it comes to estates. Okay. And obviously that estate's got to be within your proximity of where you work. Yeah. You, know, you don't want to be commuting too far away from the estate to your place mm. of work. So it kind of comes down to what's in your area as well. Yeah. All right, let's talk a bit about the properties within estates. It's something that fascinates me quite a lot. I mean, we always see these beautiful shots of estates and you think of these mansions mm -hmm. out there with long driveways and fountains and waterfalls as you get up to those houses. And I'm thinking, I can't afford a house like that. Yeah, well, I think that's what the marketing will tell you, showing you these beautiful homes um, on these massive plots. But there is a home for everybody within an estate, obviously depending on budget. You're gonna have an entry level home. Typically that's gonna come in a sectional title complex. Perhaps it's a two bed apartment, but you're gonna have something that would match your budget from a particular price point. Um, obviously if you're wanting to live in that sectional title type environment, you're gonna be living more in cluster type homes yeah. with lots of people around you, or you can move onto your own piece of land, get your own stand, build your own home, I have a freehold property and you're gonna have a little bit more space, but that's gonna come at a higher price. I'm sure. All right, so the sectional titles, et cetera, I mean, are, are they affordable for the regular home buyer? Because I mean, you're also getting the security that's the added value that you're getting for one of those pieces of property. So the nice thing about those is that they're great to buy, hold on to, and then sell because there's gonna be such a big demand. Yeah. Remember, if, you, if you're comparing apples with apples and you're looking at the, the size accommodation that you're gonna get off an estate versus on an estate, you're always gonna be paying more. Okay. So it's gonna come down to your pocket and what you can afford. So when we talk about is it affordable for everybody to buy on an estate, Probably not, um, that's, the, that's the first answer I'd give. But in terms of if you're looking, for example, for a three million rand home off the estate, you're gonna get a much bigger home in terms of accommodation. You are paying a premium when you go onto an estate, but you're getting the lifestyle and you're getting the security and the peace of mind that comes with it. And there's gonna be huge demand for those homes as the, obviously yes. the country grows, as the population grows, so the value of those properties is gonna increase drastically yes, I, too. I keep ramming home on this point, and I'm sorry to do it, but security is the number one priority yeah, for a home buyer true. at the moment.
Totally. In South Africa. Grant, thank you so much. I'm going to pick your brain again next week. Now, remember that this season of Win a Home, you stand a chance of winning a beautiful home on the Eye of Africa estate. All you have to do is log on to privateproperty.co.za and answer a very easy question. Keep a lookout each week for more property advice and tips right here on Win a Home. You also can visit the Private Property website to learn more about the Win a Home design duos, see their completed rooms, and find out more about the incredible prizes that you could win. Coming up, those judges arrive to inspect the guest bedroom. Don't go anywhere.